Hi, I'm Dale Duncan, and I am the creator of s Sight Singing Program for Beginners. When I first started teaching middle school, I remember one day, specifically during the first year, when I asked my students to get out the sight singing books, and I heard a collective moan of dread. And when I heard that, I thought to myself, I've got to figure this out. I've got to figure out what I'm going to do to make the process of learning to sight sing for my beginners more enjoyable, more fun, more engaging. And so over the next several years, as I failed many times and then I figured it out, I basically filled my toolbox full of tools that could help my beginners be figure out how to sight sing. And once I felt like that toolbox was full enough, I decided to share that information with teachers online. So about six years ago, I created the S-Cube Sight Singing Program for Beginners, and it is a systematic step-by-step -step process that's part philosophy uh, and part method. Uh, we want to have fun with the kids when we're teaching them. We want to engage them in the process so that it doesn't really feel like learning to them. It's just something they enjoy doing. And each time that they succeed, we celebrate that success. We insert competition, fun competition between the different uh, classes, the different students in a way that makes this such a great system for them to enjoy the process of learning. And by the end of level one, the students are able to sight sing examples with skips as wide as an octave in two parts, a cappella, with syncopated rhythms. We build each step one step at a time. I'm a gymnast from my background, so we never progress to the next step until we've mastered the previous step. And that's how s cubed is set up as well. So I've been using it for years. Teachers around the world have been using it now for years. And about a year after I created it, I decided I needed some supplemental exercises for assessment and practice. So I created a one-to-one -one, uh, relationship between each exercise that is in s cubed with a practice example. So starting in lesson four of s cubed, we actually begin to sight sing because you built the foundation. And on lesson four, they have their first day. So maybe it's lesson four, day one. And so my original intent was for those students to go home that night and pick up the practice example um, and to practice it and to get a grade on it with a program like Music First. And so right now, as we face the possibility of virtual learning and all the things that are ahead and the uncertainties, I believe that programs like Music First and Practice First are critical uh, for us to hold the kids accountable, to uh, assess them and to listen to them when they sing one-on-one, -on -one. This program affords that opportunity. So with Marge, we're going to take a look inside of some of the things that you will find if you uh, decide to use s -cubed with Music First and Practice First. Hi everyone, I'm Marge Lopresti. I'm the Digital Content Manager for Music First. We took Dale's program and put it online into the Music First classroom. And as Dale said, when you get to lesson four, there are activities for students to do. Right now, we're looking at the teacher view. The student view has an exercise for the students to look at, and it'll launch and practice first, but it's super important to know that in the teacher view, you're going to find objectives and materials just like you would put in a regular lesson plan, and what's so cool is that Dale created these teacher-to-teacher -teacher videos that are linked right here, and those will pop open in another window if you need some guidance on how to use the program very clear teacher procedures as well. And if you want to or need to, you can go in and edit the lesson. This is crazy. This is a function of the Music First Classroom. So if your supervisor needs you to, to add any additional information here, extensions or modifications for special learners, or if you need to add standards, all of that is right there for you with the flexibility of the Music First Classroom. So right now I'm looking at the student overview and I'm gonna to go to lesson 16, example number two. I know that I'm in student view, by the way, because there's this black bar across the top. The teacher view has an aqua bar. So students only see the student facing example. We've got some music notation and some verbal examples. The magic happens when we click on this open and practice first button.
So by default, it brings up the first staff in the system. However, there are three available here and we've put the student voice parts in gender neutral terms. Um, students may not know if they're a baritone or a tenor, but they certainly know which clef they read and they know if their voice is higher or lower. So let me go back and pretend I'm a student singing the higher voice treble clef example. When I press this record button, it's going to give me a starting pitch and a count in, and you're allowed to laugh at me singing out of tune. Do, 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 mi, 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 so, 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 mi, 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 so, mi, so, mi, so, so, mi, mi, do, mi, so, mi, do. So that 100% that came up is because I completed the entire exercise. It automatically gave me a pitch score and a rhythm score. Let me close this window so you can see the kind of feedback that students have. So my pitch wasn't terrible, it's mostly green. However, here, I cheated on the rhythm a little bit, probably because of breath support. And not so hot on the intonation here. On purpose, I went flat on the last pitch so you can see the kinds of feedback that students get. When the note is super wrong, this line turns very red. Pushing upward, also means speeding up. When the line goes downward, it's also slowing down. So you're getting pitch and rhythm feedback all wrapped in together. When I submit this to the teacher, that window automatically closes, it's submitted. Now let me toggle back to teacher view. The student submitted lesson 16, example two. When we click on it, it brings back that same feedback and the teacher can listen to the student's performance and you don't need to hear that again. So as you can see, the type of feedback that students receive when they use something like Practice First is gonna be tremendously helpful in the environment we're facing now. And even once this is over and far beyond, the technology is gonna be so useful and I hope that people will find it and use it and uh, keep helping their students learn all these wonderful specific things that Music First and Practice First are able to show them about sharp and flat singing, rhythm, everything that we want them to learn about choral music singing, especially at this moment in time when we can't sing in groups in many situations around the country and around the world. Hoping that you find S-Cubed useful and Practice First even more so. Thank you.